Okay, in this section 20-3 we're going to be talking about notes receivables. So in the last section we talked about notes payable. So we owe somebody and um, we ask for an extension of time. So that's a notes payable. In this section we're going from, okay, we're a small business and we've given credit to um, a company and they're requesting an extension. So this is a notes receivable um, section. It's kind of opposite of what we've been doing. So we're accepting a note receivable from a customer. On April 14th, we accepted a 90-day 8% note from Martin Sterling for an extension of time on his account for $3,000. The note receivable number is number 9. So cash is not exchanging hands. We're just giving an extension of time. So this is going to be put in the general journal. Notes receivables, debits increase, credits decrease. And so we are going to debit to notes receivable, okay? Write the date, notes receivable, our note receivable, I can't see, notes receivable document number is 9, and it's for a $3,000 extension. Then we're going to credit accounts receivables, Martin Sterling, and we're going to credit them 3000 and put the diagonal line as well representing two accounts here. Okay, so when we collect the principal and interest on a notes receivable, okay, we received cash for the maturity value of a notes receivable, number nine, which is a 90-day 8% note. The principal is $3,000 plus interest of $60 for a total of $3,060. It's receipt number 562. Okay, so we're receiving cash says it's a receipt so we're going to go to our cash receipts journal and we're going to write the date first we're going to write the account title notes receivable in the first line and we're going to write the receipt number under the document column remember we need the R because this just says document number it doesn't say receipt number so we're going to put the R there then we're going to write the principal amount which was $3,000 in the general credit. On the next line, we're going to write the um, interest income title. We're going to calculate and write the interest income amount. It's given to us at $60, but you'll remember it. the interest is equal to principal times the percentage times the um, amount of time. Then finally, we're going to write the maturity value or the total amount that we're going to be receiving for $3,060. Okay, so in a perfect world, we give out loans, we get them all in return, and we as consumers, you know, get loans from our banks and we're always able to pay them back. But that's not always the case in the real world. So we're going to learn how to record a dishonored note receivable. And so a dishonored note is basically a um, note that's not paid when it's due. So on May 6, Jill Davis dishonored her note receivable number 12, which was a 90-day 8% note. Maturity value today is principal $600, interest $12, and which is a total of $612. So again, cash is not exchanging hands, so we're going to put this in the general journal. And we are going to debit accounts receivables, Jill Davis going to write our document number. Where's my cursor? There it is. Our document number is Memorandum 92. Got to put the M there. This is a, a line with two accounts, so we do the slash, and we're going to debit that for 612. Then we're going to credit notes receivable of $600, and we're also going to credit interest income of $12. 
even though the note was not paid, we still have to calculate the interest and put that in there. And then obviously, we're going to still continue to try and get the money from Jill Davis. We're just going to put this as dishonored in our general journal as we move forward. And then when and if we receive it, we will um, make adjustments. Okay, so let's open up 20-3 um, in Aplia and let's do our work together. Okay, so I've opened up Work Together 20-3. Let's get our instructions open. Maybe. There we go. The journals for Cruise Corporation are provided below. So, number one, using the current year, journalize the following transactions. Use page two of the general journal and um, page three of the cash receipts. Source documents are abbreviated as follows. A note receivable is NR, a receipt is R, and a memorandum is M. So on February 2nd, we accepted a 90-day 8% note from Gary Paul for an extension of time on his account for $1,800. Okay, this is an extension of time, so we're going to put that in the general journal. Okay, so that was um, February 2nd. Is that right? I've already forgotten. Yes, February 2nd. And that was a notes receivable because we're doing an extension of time. It was a notes receivable number 17. So we're going to put NR17 and we're going to debit that for $1,800. So then accounts receivables, because remember we are the um, person granting the extension of time for Paul Bear. So accounts receivable, Paul Gary. Let's put our slash because we have two accounts there and we credit that amount. Okay, so when we do an extension of time, we're going to debit notes receivables and credit accounts receivable Paul Gary and remember we are the people granting the extension we are the um, business that is granting the loan and the extension at this point okay February 18th we received cash for the maturity value of NR 14 notes receivable 14 a 60 day 9% note for $500 okay so we received money, so we're going to put this in our cash receipts. Oops. And it said on February 18th, and we're receiving money from a notes receivable. It was receipt 67. We are going to credit it $500. And then we have our interest income. I don't think it gave us that amount, did it? No, it didn't. So let's get our calculator downloaded a new calculator that I can show this to you on. So, it's 509%. So we remember 500 times the 9%, so 0 0.09 times and the period of time, so 90, was it 90 days or 60 days? 60 days. So 2 divided by 12. That gives us $7.50. Okay, so we're going to put $7.50 here. And then our total is going to be debited in cash 
50. Okay, so we received that money for that note. Okay, and then finally on the 27th, Kirk Adams dishonored a notes receivable 9, which was a 90 day 9% note for $400. So that was the 27th, and it was Kirk Adams, so we're going to do our accounts receivables, Kirk Adams, uh, that was a notes receivable, 9, I think I remember, no it wasn't, yes it was, oh, but it was our memorandum that we're doing, so memorandum 25. Again, we're going to need the hyphenated line because there's two accounts. Okay, it didn't tell us the total amount. So um, let's come back to that for in a second. Okay, so our second line is our notes receivable. And that's for the principal amount, which was 400. And then we have our interest income. And we don't know that amount yet. So let's do that. Okay, so that was oops, $400, 9%, 90 days. So $400 times 9% times 90 days, which is 3 months. So 3 divided by 12. So that's nine, $9. This calculator is kind of weird, but it shows it up here, $9. Oops. So our interest is $9. And our accounts receivables is going to be 409. That's what we put the total amount, interest and principal. And there you have it. All right, so you guys are to do on your own 20-3 and the application 20-3.